La 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 Jiba Top Sport Förlorade matchen med två Det har varit en Välbekant melodi För HF Sten, man har tappat väldigt många poäng Från ledningen den här säsongen Här hemma linjen för Djurgården, inspel mot Ertung Kovo mėnesį su Vilniaus Žalgiriu sutartį pasirašęs Ertonas Feizolakų yra neįlinis žaidėjas Lietuvos futbolo pasaulyje. 31 rių polėjas prieš atvykdamas į Lietuvą yra sėkmingai rungtynevės ir mušęs įvarčius Švedijos Alsvens Skan, Olandijos Eredivizija ir netgi Kinijos Superlygoje, bei atstovavęs Švedijos ir Kosovo nacionalinėms rinktinėms. Aš esu vėl 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 what I was thinking it will be, so I'm really happy about it. But uh, it's a nice group, really nice group, make a lot of fun in the locker room. We have many different nationalities, but it really works together. So I think uh, the staff member did a good job to, to take these kind of parts, um, play from different parts and make it to one team. So, so far it went really good. Su Žalgirio vadovais darybos prasidėjo dar sausio mėnesį. Opsis pres Tertonui, kuris Lietuvoje mėgauja Siramių gyvenimų, padėjo ir Vytautas Andriškevičius. Vis Vytas aš spoko kelių bit, because me and Vytas we played together in EU Garden in Sweden and also we have the same agent. So we had some discussion and we I asked him some question and he only had really positive things to say about the club and especially the city and So of course it's always good to have as much as feedback as possible from different people. When I was in Norway also in Stockholm, it's still a little bit that people that see me in the street and they still want me to see, they want me to play for you Garden and be part of that team. Nors į Lietuvą atvyko kovo, pirmasias rungtynės startinėje Žalgirio sudėtyje Ertonas sužaidė po daugiau nei mėnesio A lygos devintajame ture prieš Panevežį. Tam yra objektyvių priežasčių. Spalio mėnesį jis pajautė nugaros skausmus ir jam buvo atlikta operacija. Aš esu labai 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 train as much as possible to, to get the condition back. I am offensive player. Uh, I would say I would play like striker or number 10. Uh, uh, if we play a striker, uh, then I prefer to play with two strikers. Uh, otherwise, if it's only one striker, then I prefer to play as number 10. Uh, yes, of course, the main target is to make goals or to make assists as an offensive player. Uh, I'm a technical player, like to to always try to do something more extraordinary than regular and um, that I, I hate to lose so I will always give every, everything I got to win so that is what I think people should expect. Gimęs Kosovė, Ertonas būdamas ketverių kartų su šeima persikėlė į Švediją, kur ir pradėjo žaisti futbolą. Būdamas 19, jis debiutavo antroje Švedijos lygoje, o jau po kelių sezonų jo rezultatyvų žaidimą įvertino ir įsigijo ERE divizija Nymegeno klubas. Uh, whatever you see in Europe, uh, it's player who been educated in um, in Holland. So I think it was really good uh, time for me, especially the first year because I play a lot. Po karjeros etapo Olandijoje sekė trumpa patirtis Danijos čempionate ir sugrįžimas į Švediją. Būtent rezultatyvų žaidimas Dior Gardens klube jam atvėrė vartus į Švedijos nacionalinę rinktinę, kuris per penkerias rungtynės įmušė tris įvarčius ir turėjo galimybę treniruotis kartu su Zlatanu Ibrahimovičiumi. It was a uh, it was a big experience and uh, when they first called me for the first time I was really happy because uh, when they called me I was I think around 24 25 years old and uh, Then to know that you're gonna play with Ibrahimovic, it felt really extra special because I had him as an idol when I was young. And uh, no, so it was it was nice, and I think I was I was the only one from Sweden at that time from the Swedish league who came with the Swedish national team. The other players were from the abroad from different uh, leagues in Europe, uh, so it felt really special. We we didn't play. In the, we only I was in the select that time. I was sitting on the bench for 90 minutes. Uh, it was an important game against Ireland, and it ended 0-0. So coach didn't put me in. So I was a little bit unlucky. 
but I had the opportunity to train with him in 10 days that we were together in training camp, so it was good. He knows when he comes to national team that uh, the other players are a different level and the only thing he can do is try to be positive and give good feedback. Uh, so it, especially to the new players, uh, he's even more kind, so it was nice. You can see it's an experienced guy who, who did a really sick career. And um, no, so I think as a player also, when you play with really good players, you became also better because they give you the right ball, they give you opportunities all the time, so it's much easier to play with better players. Nors Švedijos rinktinėje startas atrodė daug žadantis, viskas pasikeitė 2014 metais Ertonui persikėlus į Kinijo Superlygą. Uh, I played, yeah, like you saw, five games and three goals, but uh, after, uh, after that time I moved to China, uh, I signed for a Chinese team in Beijing, and uh, then I had this discussion with coach of national team and he didn't like that I chose uh, to sign for, for the club in China, so... He said, yeah, the league over there is not so good, and so I, somehow he didn't think that I was enough good played over there to be on the Swiss national team. Apie Žalgirio naujoko patirtį į Kinijoje būtų galima parašyti visą knygą. Pekinėjus pajautė, ką reiškia būti super žvaigždė, kuri nepastebėta į gatvę negali išėjti net ir su temus. Then also Beijing, I thought it was a big experience. Uh, I came as alone. Uh, Uh, funny thing is that I came uh, to the club day, be uh, day before game, so I just went up to the office, signed the contract and it was evening training, because the day after it was the evening game, so everything went so quick, so I just say hello to the guys a little bit quick. In the beginning, like for me, all the Chinese look the same, so <laughs> I introduced myself maybe to the same guy maybe three times in a week, because I thought I didn't see him, but uh, yeah, so... I trained the first training and of course it's difficult when everybody's new and so on but you know the other three foreigners they were really kind and took me on directly and the day after coach told me like okay you will play like 25-30 minutes so prepare yourself and I'm like okay so when I came in it was 0-0 then our team scored 1-0 and the other team scored 1-1 and then I scored the 2-1 and 3-1 and assist to 4-1 in 20 minutes. That was my debut in the club, so it was so crazy. And it was like around 50 to 60,000 in the audience. So I couldn't have a better start. So it was like, uh, yeah, a big experience. And it's, it's really, the football day is really big because no matter where you go in the city, you have to hide. Otherwise, they start with the cameras, they want to take photo with you and yeah. I've never been that kind of famous player nowhere uh, in Europe, so it's like when you come over there, if, if you're a little bit famous, then, then, then you're really famous over there. It's like I told you, wherever I've been, we, I'll go to a restaurant with my friend to eat, everybody, can, please, can I take a photo? My food went cold because everybody wanted it. And if somebody do it, then the other one who doesn't know you, they also want to take photo because they're asking like, Who are you? I'm like, ah, nobody. They're like, yeah, yeah, the other one taking photos, so you must be some famous guy. I'm like, no, I'm not famous. So they're only taking photos because other people also take photos. So it's a little bit, uh, this is a typical China. They like to take photos. You've seen it maybe also here, the tourists are coming. So. Ertonui rungtyniaujant Kinijoje, jo atstovavimas Pekino Sinovo klubą Superlygoje užėmė antrąją vietą, o Azijos čempionų lygoje prasibrovė ieštuntfinalį. Savo pirmaisiais mėnesiais Žalgirio Naujokas buvo viena ryškiausių Kinijos čempionato žvaigždžių, kuriai buvo skiriamas milžiniškas dėmesys. Nepaisant to, kad tuo metu čempionate netrūko ir kitų garsių legionierių ar tokių trenerių kaip Marcello Lipi. In China is different because the in China is my like Instagram, YouTube, Google, all this is blocked because the government, the block, all that's owned by USA because they think that they are uh, spying. So there we, you had some other uh, apps like WeChat. Uh, it's like similar to Facebook. And you had um, another uh, app, I don't know which one, because it was my friend who controlled it and it was like Twitter. And he opened that one for me because I'm really bad at social media. So he opened that one and I think I had around 250,000 followers in the first two weeks uh, and we had players in our team who have maybe like six seven million followers so I think uh, before I w went from China back to Europe I think I had around 
one million followers. But it's nothing at them because it's only 25 million people only in Beijing. So it's easy to get that kind of followers. <laughs> what I really liked, uh, I like the weather over there from March to end of September. I think I walking in sandals, uh, shorts and t-shirts. So it was always nice weather, warm and good. I like the food, uh, people also nice. Uh, I like the football. Uh, like I said, the audience, the stadiums, they've been just, just building just for fun. If somebody build a bigger one, they have to compete, to compete with them and even build bigger. The thing I didn't like about the football in general over there, it was more like uh, in Europe, when you go to the club, you have the locker room, the dressing room, the old team the players are there, and you're changing, you're having this fun, the conversation. In China, it's not like that. There you have a, a room, so every player have one like hotel room. So you change your things, you dress there, you have television, you have sofa, you have your own uh, bathroom. So we were divided by um, me and another foreigner uh, from Croatia and the other two foreigners in the other room and then the Chinese two or two too. Then when it's like uh, 10 minutes before training, you go to the meeting room and directly out to the, to the pitch and train. And after training, you go to your room, you take your shower or relax a little bit and then you go home. So this Part, I think I missed a lot when I was there because I like to be in the locker room. This is, the, in my opinion, this is the best part of the training because you hear stories of someone, it's always someone who's really funny in the locker room. And uh, this, this I missed and this I think it's a little bit bad because when you are together as a group, of course you can become also stronger mentally and also as a group. Kinijos Superlygoje Ertonas praleido dviejus metus. Šioje lygoje gali rungtyniauti vos keturi legionieriai, tad konkurencija milžiniška. Ir tai nenuostabu, nes Kinijoje mokami atlyginimai tiesiog įspūdingi. Uh, after China, when I was in China, I went uh, to Norway for six months. Uh, and of course, you really feel it's totally different. Uh, especially the payday, the salary is not the same. <laughs> Uh, but uh, of course it's different if you compare Scandinavian football or something else compared to China. China is totally another level. The fans, the supporters, the, the stadiums, uh, every, everything is totally different. Gerokai pakeliavęs dabar Ertonas mėgaujas į gyvenimo Vilniuje, o jo gyvenime šiuo metu svarbiausi du dalykai – šeima ir Žalgiris. As a player, when I've been in so many clubs and the career went up and down so many times, like you can really feel that the family is always there when it's even also bad. Then you have friends that when it's going good, of course everybody is there and try to be a part of it. But when it's going down, it's like you don't get this kind of SMS anymore. Uh, and of course, family is always there. No matter if you play good or bad, they always support you. So of course, it's, uh, for me it's the most important. Uh, my daughter named Fiona. So uh, I make celebration for F always dedicate my goals to her. And that's the reason I came here. I, uh, I came here with, uh, with a dream that uh, end of the season we stand there as a champion and hopefully we do something good in qualification of the uh, Europa League. Uh, so otherwise I, w I wouldn't come here. Uh, I had a good dis uh, discussion with, uh, with Wilma, uh, Shemba and Davidas and uh, of course uh, it's a reason that I came here because I see potential uh, in the club and uh, uh, yeah, I, I want to stand there end of season as number one.